No more sex quality bare bones broadcasting. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's morning. What morning is this? This is uh, the 29th of March. In the year 19, 2012. That I never thought the year 20 would be attached to any date here. Sounds very alien to me. 20 anything sounds alien. I live in 19. 20 got alien. Very alien. Very invaded by the absence of the wit that lives here. Oh, yeah. So, I rock and roll a little bit. Pick my nose. Like a lot of old people. Yesterday I eat in a restaurant. But uh, this isn't what I came to talk about. <laughs> I, I, well, I had something on my mind. Scaling my hood, I said, go wonderful. A picture does not even come close to the glory of there. The word, I think, glory was in that. It, you get all the splendor and the glory, and no, you don't. Oh, it's just, no. I, 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 you get such a backed up view from a picture, you're, to your emotions and senses, it's nothing, nothing compared. Don't even compare them. You say, oh, well, you ought to be there then. If you that, I wouldn't go yourself. You could faint. If watching it on television makes you go, oh, don't go. <laughs> you won't make it through that. I'm sure you'll just faint. Of course, you're probably so fragile and vulnerable and weak, you don't have the effort to even do the dexterities and calisthenics and get yourself prepared and go through all the hell to get there to get the glory. Oh, that looks really easy. No, it ain't. To get ready to climb my hood is not easy. Oh, it's easy. No, it ain't. Oh, I, I did it. Yeah, you're a disciplining person. You ought to see the lazy ones that go, <gasps> that those words apply to. Anyone that believes those words, don't go. Because <laughs> that words are not correct. You're not going to get that unless you go through the work and the da 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 climb the mountain and get there yourself. Then you have those words. Otherwise, that picture will not do that for you. Keep that well in mind. That's all I wanted to say, and it's very important to say. Because you're being sold a pile of malarkey that says, advertising is driving this engine. No, it ain't. Advertising does not drive the engine of the newspaper. No, it is not. And for the guy who thinks, and he's a wonderful man to think that, it shows that the society is in trouble. Period. And calls those troubled employees to employment there. Do you understand that? The newspaper will never work for what it's engineered for while and long after all of you employed in it are dead and gone as long as you think that. Do you understand that? Newspaper employee. The rest of us require that and fight to the death to protect its existence. Now you live up or get out. How's that? Everybody owns the newspaper's position. And when the employees don't understand what it is, get out! And I like every one of you. I like your nice people wonderful. Too dumb to do your job because you don't have the mindset to do it. Why? Because you've been educated to a society of morons that tells you that advertising drives the newspaper. That's the engine. Bull! Somehow intelligence tilted. Baldy, Norman, Woodstock. <laughs> An idiot. The societies work very, very diligently to prepare for this position to say, hello, get out of town.